Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their true intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and not every reading will resonate for you. For Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know regarding love? What does Virgo need to know? This will be a general reading, Virgo, so it will not resonate with every single Virgo watching. So just keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and if it doesn't resonate at all, that's okay. Just check back next week for another reading or another one of your placements in your birth chart. What does Virgo need to know when it comes to love? What does Virgo need to know? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, right away I'm sensing like someone turned their back on the other person. Like retreated. Like you saw them retreat from you. That I just felt that. What else? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And then we got very soon at the bottom here. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon. So something this month is going to happen where I feel like someone might express how they feel. And this is going to require you to have an open mind, Virgo. Ah, messages for Virgo, please. Arts to love. Just Virgo need to know. Just Virgo need to know. Past, present, future energies for Virgo and love. Past, present, future energies for Virgo and love. All right, Virgo. Let's see what we got for you. I'm gonna do a quick past, present. Two of coin in the past. Nine of swords in the present. What's going on, Virgo? Fear, anxiety, restlessness. I feel like someone was juggling here. Two things, two people, a decision. Three of cups reversed. at the bottom. Ten of Cups. Wow. Some of you, you're dealing with someone that has a family or you have a family. That's some of you here. Three of Cups reversed. There could be something going on here where there's a delay in coming together or a third party interference. I'm picking more delay, but some of you are definitely in a third party. And I feel like if you are in a third party, um, one of you, I feel, has a family. Or both of you could, but at least one. So let's see which one it is. Let's clarify these energies. This Ten of Cups could also be that at the end of all of this, Virgo, there is happiness for you. Emotional fulfillment. We'll see what we got here. Spirit, come on, clarify these energies for Virgo, please. For Virgo. This all started with a choice or someone juggling multiple things here. What's this two of coins about? What's this two of coins about? For Virgo. Four of cups reversed. Well, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini because Gemini had a four of cups reversed in the past um, position here. A change of mind, 
a change of heart, uh, someone having renewed interest in something that maybe in the past they weren't interested anymore and now they are. And yeah, and look, Eight of Wands at the bottom here. Gemini also had Eight of Wands here in this position. Communication, whatever this decision is, or someone had a change of heart, you know, if they were juggling two things, two people, whatever the case is, there's been a change of heart here and someone's going to talk about it. Or at least it's going to motivate someone to make a move because the Eight of Wands could also be like movement, fast movement. So it's almost like this change of heart or whatever changed their mind happened very quickly. Like a night and day situation is what I'm feeling. Tell me more about this two of coin. Oh my God, I got the eight of, eight of wands again. <laughs> okay, so communication definitely gonna take place here. Or, or again, fast movement. Temperance, things coming together here. So then why the three of cups in the future position? Let's see. Tell me about the nine of swords, please. Virgo. That's a nine of swords here. Oh my goodness. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Gemini. Page of Wands showed up in the Gemini reading. Not in the same position, but it did show up. <sighs> whatever communication takes place here, whatever message is coming in, I feel like someone here is going to not know what to do with it. Someone's either going to be scared to communicate, fearful of the communication, or when the communication comes in for someone, that person's not going to know what, what to do with it. Oh, okay. Tell me more for this Nine of Swords. Tell me more for this Nine of Swords. Five of Wands. Yeah, there, um, this communication might cause some conflict. It could be an argument that takes place here. Um, like a clashing of ideas. Um, there could be a lot of people involved like that kind of try to impose themselves on this connection in some way. I feel like this is what I'm, I'm just going to say what I'm feeling because you know, I know this isn't going to res resonate for everyone, but this is what I see the, the like for the majority of you. Um, I feel like someone knows when they talk to you, it's going to cause a mess. And it's almost like they know that and that's not going to stop them. So what's this Three of Cups reverse then? What's going on here with this Three of Cups reverse? Why is this Three of Cups reverse here? Six of Coins reverse. Ooh, what, what's this Three of Cups reverse doing here? Can I get one more? Now I understand. Hold on, let me see if I'm right about this. Five is okay. So what I'm seeing here is when this person tries to come together with you, Virgo, I feel like, and feel free to flip this if it resonates more. Um, I feel like you're not going to have an open mind right away about this. It's like almost like you're not going to feel the same way as this other person or reciprocate their feelings. And so that's why there's going to be a delay here. I don't think you're over what happened with the past completely. There might be trust issues. Um, even if someone's telling you that they want to clear the air or resolve the conflict, I feel like a lot happened here in this connection. And it's not so easy for you to accept whatever this person's giving you. Yeah, it's like you're going to, you're going to resist this at first and hold back. But I think with time perhaps you'll open up to this person because i have a ton of cups here what's this about what's this ten of cups about for virgo five of coin what else 
Why is this Ten of Cups here? The star flipped up. Aquarius energy. Yeah, it's almost like um, there will be some sort of healing or renewal here. Can we get one more for the Ten of Cups? Hierophant reverse. Okay. I feel like okay, I got the Nine of Cups reversed at the bottom. Maybe this person won't be able to commit to you right away, and so there will still be some sort of disconnect. Maybe if this person has a, a family and needs to get out of that, I feel like your wish is going to be delayed in some way. If you're wishing for commitment, that's going to be delayed, or a commitment is delaying a wish. But I feel like overall there's going to be a healing, a renewal here. This situation is going to call for you to have an open mind, but also have faith and trust. I feel like this is all leading to a Ten of Cups. Can I get one more, please, for this Ten of Cups? I think this situation is something where you can't lose faith. Even if it doesn't happen exactly like you want it to happen. I feel like eventually this Ten of Cups is kind of like a, like a carrot. <laughs> Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Yeah, look at this, the lovers. I can't make it up. Some of you are definitely dealing with a, a Gemini. But there is a, a strong connection here that I feel it's only a matter of time, Virgo. Like, that's what I feel. Um, someone is going to choose you at the end of the day because you are their Ten of Cups and this is a very strong connection. Bottom of the deck here, I have the Six of Wands. I mean, come on, success. This will be a successful connection and yeah, it's only a matter of time, I feel, before you, you are together. I don't think it's going to happen overnight, but I think eventually that's where it's going to lead. All right, Virgo, I'll leave it there. Hopefully this reading resonated for most of you. If it did, leave a comment. Let me know down below uh, how it resonated for you. Like this video if you enjoyed my readings or subscribe. It's free and it helps the channel grow. Uh, thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. And I'll see you